Hey guys, it's Melissa with Web of Creativity and this project is called the Divider Folder Mini Album. It's because I use um, two large folders uh, as the base pages for this album. Um, so with this guy, this is one of my biggest, um, actually my largest mini album I've made. It's 10 by 12 inches, so it's really large. Um, and then I use the Graphic 45's uh, Fruit and Flora collection. So we got um, the collection pack and the patterns and solids along with the stickers and the um, die cut assortment. So this guy has um, tutorial, uh, written tutorial, and of course this is the video tutorial and kits all on my blog at www.webofcreativity.net and those links are below. Uh, so this video I'm going to go through the whole album and then we're going to start working on um, the cover and the pages and then how I'm at it and everything. So first off, um, let me go ahead and open this guy up. Um, also one tip is these medallions that I've used. There is, um, in this video, is the tip on how I created that piece right there. And I used um, a Graphic 45 corner die to do so. So we'll go through that as well. Because I use it in multiple places as just an extra accent pieces. Um, so right away, there. this is uh, technically two pages. It's two folders. So we got this first folder. Uh, with this long tab and these three short tabs and then the second folder which has the big tag on the bottom and then again three tags. So these are folders I picked up from Staples. They're called Divided Up um, and has uh, multiple sections right there. So there's already pre-made pockets. Um, so this is the page that I used. Uh, so this is very, very, um, awesome way to begin working on your base page. And then I just built it up. Um, so we'll start with the inside cover, or it's just the inside and the um, back side. Both of them are just pretty simple with photo mats and then some extra pieces. My light is just shining right on it um, from the collection. But we're gonna start off with um, tags that pull right out. And then we have a second set of tags, which is a large photo mat right there. So we have two of those guys. And then this little um, piece, triangle piece right here is a pull tab. So it's going to pull out. And we have a section here. And then this one's going to pull out. So we have a large area here for some photo mats, additional photo mats. And then um, it opens up this way, so we have more space. And then um, on the inside, so how the folders work is these has three pocket sections that are pretty open. And then I added some um, interactive tags in it. Uh, but first, let's start on this side. This side, I have closure pieces, and I added that medallion on there. So this closure piece is just a slidey piece. Slides right off. Then we're going to open up these flaps. And then we're going to open up these flaps. So we got that large area again for photo mats. And then a top, um, sorry, and then the flaps for photo mats. So I'll go over on how I make these um, also. So this side, um, again we have our pocket pieces. So this is um, just a pretty simple mat, uh, tag I mean, that has um, some more tags in it. Then we got this middle tag right here. So then we got a large tag, another large tag, medium tag. Um, so plenty of room for photographs in this album. And then we have two, um, one large photo mat for two, um, two photo mats from one large tag and then a medium tag. Um, 
and then it repeats. Oh wait, the back side, sorry. The back side has two tags that pull out. And then, um, oh, there we go. Pulls out, opens up. So plenty of space for photographs. And then it just repeats. I do the same thing for this guy. And at the um, back of this video, um, I go in detail about um, all of these two and how I decorated them and stuff like that. So we're gonna first start off with building the album cover, which you can tell is pretty big in my screen right here. Um, then we'll go with um, uh, building up the pages for um, the um, folders, and then we'll go through and um, work on the mats and the tags and all that stuff. And then at the end, I go over some details on what I added. Um, and then there's a tip on how to make these little medallions, which are super cute and would go great with almost any project. All right, so there we go. This is the divider folder mini album. Uh, not quite mini, it's pretty large and um, uh, plenty of space for photographs. So let's get started. For the cover, we have three pieces of chipboard and three pieces of um, cardstock for the front cover and the same exact three pieces for the back cover. Um, so because how how this page layout is done, we have the top and bottom of um, the cover and then the middle piece. So we're going to start by attaching the bottom first. And because this is the front cover, we're going to attach it to uh, the left side um, a half an inch from the um, side and bottom. Because of how I have this taped, I'm just going to pull these up um, the same size for this and then going to attach using my ruler. I'm going to measure my half inch from the side. Okay, so I pulled down the top pieces. I did trim off the excess of the paper here. And we're gonna flip this over and attach the top piece. And let me make sure that it is not upside down. And we're gonna attach that. So it is also an inch from this down. An inch from the side and an inch from the top. There we go. All right, for the center piece, I added tape to the flesh to the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to slide this down. I actually drew a little line uh, for my center point. And I can't see it, so I'm gonna turn it upside down. I only drew one line at the top. There we go. Oh, and um, I did ink the edge, um, and that is uh, Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. To attach the spine piece, uh, put a piece of tape flush to the edge of the paper, stopping short a half an inch on the top and bottom. And then I have tape along the side and here, and we're going to flip it over and we're going to attach it using a uh, spacer. So a spacer is two pieces of chipboard. So I have these two long pieces of chipboard. And this guy right here is going to get attached. Um, 
flush um, the top and bottom, even at the top and bottom. There we go. Perfect. Now for um, the back side, you're going to do the same thing with your papers, um, except you're going to attach it so that you're a half an inch from the right side. So this guy was a half an inch from the left side. So your back piece, you're going to do the exact same thing, except you're going to do a half an inch from the right side and the top and bottom. So go ahead and prepare that and then we'll get it attached to the spine piece. All right, so the back side again is going to have the half an inch on the right side. So I already prepped the back sheet and then put my piece of tape stopping short a half an inch at the top and bottom. And I'm going to use my spacer and I already removed the tape on my spine here. So, put my spacer against, sometimes I need more hands, okay, all right, there we go, spacer, and then I'm going to line up at the top and bottom with my chipboard, and then set it down. There we go. And yes, we have a gap, but we're going to put a piece of paper right there. So there is our piece. Um, front and back cover, and we're going to put, again, a paper in the middle of that spine piece. All right. So for the center piece, um, it is a little bit longer than the 12 inch. The 12 inch stops about here. So I just cut a, a little piece of um, scrap on the side to extend it out far enough to reach the top and bottom. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this straight down the center, just like so. But you can see, let me see if I can remove my tape so you can see my, um, there's the little mark right there for my little scrap piece. So it's about that big. And then of course I overlapped it um, about a half an inch. And I marked where my center point is going to be on my paper. And it is a little bit longer, um, so I can just trim that off or just leave it like that. It's not going to matter if it's a little longer. Okay. Our next step is to take our scoring tool and score around the edge of the chipboard all the way around and then we're going to add tape flush to the edge of the chipboard skipping the gaps between the spine. Our next step is to trim the corners at an angle. So I take my Tim Holtz ruler and it has the first dash is uh, 1 8th. So I put that dash line at that edge, that corner of the chipboard, hold down and trim. It doesn't have to be a perfect angle. But we're going to do that to all four corners. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and attach the two short sides first. I like to take my bone for folder with the flat edge. I'm going to use my hands first, then run the bone folder over that. And then start attaching from the middle out. And then I tuck in the corners. So you can use your bone folder or your fingernail and you're just gonna tuck that corner in. All right, once the short side's done, we're gonna go ahead and attach the long side. And again, roll, running our um, bone folder across the, the top, skipping 
the gaps between the spine just so we don't accidentally rip the paper or put too much pressure on uh, that area. And then starting in the middle, going out. And then do that on the bottom side. All right, so this barely fits into um, my screen, but we have all the edges. And then one last time, I'd run the bone folder around the edge, skipping the gaps so not to mess up the paper. And that just gives that a flat, smooth uh, edge. We're gonna work on the inside cover. So I have two inside cover sheets and then the spine um, area. So for the spine area, we wanna actually add um, a lot of tape because it's gonna hold our pages. So I have one piece flush to the edge on the opposite side of the spine gap. And then I covered the entire spine area uh, with tape and then added tape to the back of my paper and I need to ink it first. All right, so I inked my edges with my Vintage Photo uh, Distressed Oxide, and then I'm going to attach this to the center of the album. And it's going to be um, an eighth of an inch from the top and bottom. So I'm just gonna check to see if I am There it is, my bone folder, just to give it a good stick. All right, so the front and back piece gets attached the same way. So what I'm gonna do is butt up the front piece up against um, the edge of the spine, and I'm gonna even it out at the top and bottom, so we just want that straight. Just do the same thing with the back piece. All right, now that I have both pieces on there, I'm going to um, fill where my um, uh, spine gap is and hold my paper in to go in the gap because I don't want it to come out of the gap. So I'm gonna hold it and make sure my paper goes inside. And there we go. Perfect. Now we can work on the rest. Our pages for this album are file folders. These are divided up uh, folders that I got from Staples um, that have multi-section file folders. So we use two of them. So the first one has this large tab at the bottom and the second one has this large tab at the top. So it opens up and it has three pockets. So these are our pages. So we have two of them to make up our album. So what we do with um, the folder is there is score marks already on the folder. There's three of them. And what we're gonna do is fold it on the first one. Make sure it's even at the top and bottom. And then I'm going to run my bone folder. And that is um, our piece that we're gonna attach to uh, the inside of our album. So we're gonna put some tape on here. Uh, so this piece, now, now that we folded it, has this huge gap area. So we're gonna close that up with a piece of um, cardstock and make it a pocket right here. Okay, I added tape to our folder where we're gonna attach it to the album spine. And then we need our pocket piece for the inside of the folder. So I already prepped that, it's this large piece. And then I rounded the corners on both sides. And then I added tape and a U shape 
uh, around the edges to make the pocket and then this piece right here has double uh, tape on both sides and this helps separate our two tags so I drew a center line in the middle of my piece right here and I'm going to attach this guy right on top of it just like that and I'm going to turn this folder I'm going to use this um, first score line as a guide I'm not going to attach this on the score line I want it to be above it so it doesn't affect the fold so we're going to go ahead and line it up and again right above the score line and we want it even on both sides And there we have our first pocket piece for um, our tags. All right, for the flaps, we have um, two pieces of cardstock um, for each flap. So we're going to go ahead, these are already scored. So on the shorter piece, there is a score mark at a half an inch to create a tab. So we're going to fold on that score line. We're going to taper the corners, which is cutting from um, the score line up at an angle. And then we're going to add uh, to the tab on the inside of the fold. And then for the next one, we're going to fold. Also has a half an inch area for a tab. Fold on the tab, taper the corners, and tape is going to go on the uh, outside of the tab. So with this fold, it's going to be on the inside, and with this fold, it is on the outside. Um, this guy with this fold on the outside has another score line. And we're just going to fold it up. And then take my 1 fourth inch tape and add it right on those sides to make this into a pocket. I'm going to go ahead and attach this for a pocket. And All right, so this um, attach will attach to this side, not the side of the um, tab at the opposite side. So that's going to be flush to that edge. So I'm going to turn this tabs on the top. All right, make sure it lines up nicely. And um, then this guy gets um, this is uh, an inch square and then I'm going to turn it at an angle and we're going to attach it like so and this is going to be a pull tab. So let me put some tape on here. Alright, so with my uh, square slash diamond I added tape to just half of the diamond and then on the back side I'm, I'm marked where the center is and then I'm going to attach right at that center to make that diamond and then that is our pull tab so when we pull this open that's what we're going to pull on and then it gets attached to the inside of um, the piece like so.
also. So let me make the second one real quick. All right, I made the second flap, and so now we need to attach them to the page. Um, so right now I'm just gonna place it so I know where my placement's gonna be. So I want it to come over a little bit from the side and then have a space in the middle. So it looks like a great spot. I already have my tape on my um, piece and I'm going to attach. So when I attach this one, I wanna make sure it's the same spacing um, from the side. And there we go. Okay, um, so we will um, attach magnets to make those stay down. Um, but we will attach them once we get our paper for matting. So then we have our tags that go in our pockets. And that finishes um, the front cover. So we're gonna work, go ahead and work on the insides. For the inside, uh, we have several flat pieces. So we have two large flaps, and both of these are scored at uh, half an inch for those tabs. So, and then we have four of these guys, and these are also have uh, tabs on them as well for our flaps. And then we have our slider pieces, um, which are four of the same size and two of them scored in half. So I have two of those sets. Um, so these are pretty easy. Uh, so we just fold on the tab and trim, um, taper the corners, cutting at an angle from the score line. And then adding tape to our tab. So I'm going to do that with all of our flat pieces. All right, so all of um, I tapered all the corners of my flaps and added my tape to both sets here. Let me move that up. And then for our um, slider piece is four pieces, uh, two of which are scored in the middle, and then we add tape to them. So to work on our slider, we're gonna go ahead and remove the tape. And then I'm going to line it up with our first piece and attach it down. So the slider's pretty easy to make. Put that up against the first piece, make sure it's lined up. So now we have this little guy right here. And then we're going to attach the top piece. Make sure that we're lined up evenly. And there we go. So you can see where the flaps will go in between those two pieces, and that's how we will have this closure. So make two of those, and then I'm just going to run this down. All right. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and attach our large flaps um, to the top and bottom centered. 
uh, flush to the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and flush to the edge. Okay, it's easier if I turn it around so I can see it. So we're going to go ahead and again flush to that edge, centered. Next we have our four other flaps and I did round these corners with a half inch corner rounder and these are not going to be flush so I'm going to attach so it's just um, a hair that's not even I don't even think it's an eighth it's like a sixteenth so just um, a little bit spacing and I want to do the same thing on the other side as well. So we're going to go ahead and attach this guy and he's about a half an inch from um, the bottom here. Alright, to, to attach this guy we want him to line up with this first piece and then that's going to have a little bit of space but we don't want it butted up against each other because we have our spacer. So I'm just going to slide our spacer in here first. And then we're going to put this guy in here. So we do have that gap, but we still want to make sure he's even. So I know I'm off camera a little bit. I'm just making sure he is even. Now that he looks even and straight, I'll go ahead and attach. So it has that little space over there. Oops, hit the wrong button. So we do have that space right here, space here, and then a space here from the edge. Oops, going the wrong way. And then this guy can slide in and out. So we'll do the top one too. So this guy is going to be a uh, half an inch from the top. Also, a little bit from the side. There we go. And then again, we're going to put that spacer in here. Make sure he is even. Just, uh, just making sure this is even. And then attach that there. All right, now we got our pieces in. So for our inside right side pockets, we're just going to make some inserts. So the largest pocket only has these tags. Um, then we have some fun inserts for the other two pockets. So for the uh, medium size, we have this cute one that opens up. We got a pocket on the left and then two uh, open pockets on the right. And then we have for the smaller one this little gatefold type tag with some pockets on that side. So let's go ahead and work on the smaller one first. For this page, we have two crafts pieces, and those are our tags. And then for the body of um, the page tag, we have one body piece and then two um, side pieces. So for each side piece, we're gonna fold on the score line. So our first score line is that tab piece that we like to make. And we're gonna taper the corners and add our tape. And then for the second score, we're going to fold the same direction, so I'm going to go ahead and fold it inwards. And this is our pocket piece, so we're going to add a fourth inch tape to the sides. Flush to the side. Remove the tape over and that creates our pocket. So um, make the second 
piece the same as this piece. Okay, for the, now that both of the flaps are done, we're gonna go ahead and attach flush to the edge on one side. Make sure it's even at the top and bottom. And then for our second piece, we're gonna close our first piece, make sure it's lined up. And then attach. So they're attached, so they're touching. And then we have our tags. All right, that is our first insert. For our second insert, we have uh, three craft tags. I'm gonna set over to the side. We have a large body, two pieces for our body, and then two pieces for our pocket, uh, slider pockets. So I'm gonna put that to the side. So for our largest piece, we have one score line, and that's just gonna get folded. Um, this is a pocket, so once it's folded, we can add our tape and go ahead and create that pocket. Then for our second piece to finish up the pocket, um, just has one score line and that's our tab. Adding our tape to the tab. Now we're going to attach it flush to the right side. Make sure that is even. There we go. So for the right side, we have two open ended pockets. So we'll start with our largest pocket piece first, and this has two score lines. And both of those are tabs. So we're going to taper the corners. And then for the corner that meets, we're gonna taper that as well. So we can cut that right off, flip it over, and add our tape. So I like to fold um, the tabs underneath and give it a quick run with the bone folder to get that um, paper used to being folded like that, make the pocket a little bit more flatter. So uh, we have our two pieces and we're going to attach flush to the bottom and the side. Oh, um, wait, 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 wait. I want to punch the corner. I'm gonna punch the corner with my half inch uh, corner rounder. And now I'm going to attach it. Again, flush to the bottom. And side. Doesn't that look nice? Yeah. And then our smallest uh, piece is the same way as those two tabbed score lines. Trim. 
taper the corners, taper the square corner off, add our tape. I like to fold under. And once that's like that, we're gonna attach flush to the bottom and the side. Oh, and a corner. Round my corner. Flush to the bottom and the side. There we go. That's not the right tag. Let's try this one. There we go. Is that tag. And that tag. And this one. This one might need to be trimmed. I didn't. Uh... Oh, no, it doesn't. Look at that. Ah, oh, perfect. That is our second insert. And we have our first insert and then the third one are just plain old tags um, that completes that side and then we can move on to the back for the back it's pretty simple we just got this one um, piece of cardstock here where I've um, scored both ends and made tabs so the only thing for this piece is right in the middle I want to make a little um, divider so we can have two um, mats to, to, to slide into it. So for the divider piece I just cut out a piece and put tape on both sides and then drew a line for the center of my, my piece here. A little divider piece. And then for the back, I just measured the center, um, center of the back piece right here, and I'm just going to attach it. There we go. So then our mat will slide right on in there. There we go. So when I mat it, I'm just gonna mat this piece and then these two side pieces right here. So it doesn't need a full size mat. And um, that's it. And then for the tag, I just um, have this guy right here um, trimmed and then cut and uh, cut, folded in half. So that makes a simple tag for the back side. Um, all right, so that completes the assembly um, of the um, pages. So now we need to move on to matting everything. First, before we mat, we need to add our magnets to um, our flaps right here. So these magnets get attached on the inside center to your um, flap right here. So we're just going to take a piece, uh, added a piece of tape to my magnet and just attach it right to the center. And then I'm going to fold these both out and then attach our magnets. I've already added um, tape and I added tape to the wrong side of that one. I'll fix that. So once I remove the tape backing, I'm just going to close this and then that's our magnet attachment. Next up is matting. So we're going to mat this um, page right here. 
Um, some pages are different than others. This guy is pretty simple. I just did full size mats. Um, solid color for the little pocket piece because I'm going to do a little design in the middle. Um, and then I inked all the edges with uh, Distress Ink uh, Vintage Photo. All right, now that we got that uh, top um, done, we're going to open these up. And for the inside, um, because this diamond shape, I didn't actually want to cover it. So I cut out, um, cut a square in half to make these little diamond. And then I have these mats that I stub punched to give it that kind of look. Um, and then I have just these solid colors for the sides for this side. And because of the diamond look, I uh, cut out some diamonds for the center. So I just thought this looked really neat. So that is how I'm matting the inside of this page. All right, so I've attached this page and now we're gonna move on to the other side. So the side's going to be a little bit of the same. I'm gonna go ahead and have that diamond shape for um, this side right here. And then this side, it's a little bit different. Um, we got some photo mats. And then I have some strips. There we go. Of course, I'm going to measure to make sure that's all even when I attach. But that is the setup for this side. So we got two sides photo mats, and then we have the diamond side um, page on that side. So that's how I'm going to do this section. All right. So before you attach your pieces um, to the folder, there's one little tip I want to show you. I'm going to zoom in right here. So the bottom of this folder right here has this indention. So for your mat, you line up where you want it, and then I'm going to um, draw where the indention is, and then just trim, um, trim it off, and then it kind of to the inside. So I want to trim my line off, if you can see that. Just go on the inside of the line. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as it's not um, overlapping that piece. Since when this shuts, you can see that it, um, you can see where it's at. Okay. Now, if you want to keep it um, squared off, so here's it squared off. This is what it's going to look like when it's closed. So you can do either or, whichever one you prefer. so this page is fully attached and we only have one more piece left uh, for this front cover and that's this section right here so I've trimmed this sh this piece right here and then punched the corners uh, with a one half uh, corner rounder okay now that this page uh, front cover is complete we can move on to the inside so we're working on the left inside and what I have are two mats for our little closure pieces that we're going to add on. And then we have our um, mats for our flaps. So for these, I do want to punch the corners. And I'm going to go ahead and punch them with a half an inch corner rounder. So I'm going to do that for all just the um, two inside corners. And then for the um, flaps on the inside I'm using the purple paper and then I'm going to uh, punch the outside corners so I'm going to go ahead and get those attached real quick now that I have the front section um, covered 
uh, we need to work on these flaps. So for the front side of the flaps, um, I have this. I have the strips again, and the diamond, which I think looks neat when these are closed and you have that diamond point. And then the back side is um, just some strips with a a craft strip. I think I'm going to stub punch the middle craft right there. Um, but that's going to be this flap. Alright, I've attached the flaps. And the next is this open space. Um, so I did this a little bit like the front cover. Um, except I'm putting the uh, photo mats different spots. Um, however, if you want it uh, like the front cover, you can just move your piece over here or vice versa. Um, but I do like it like that for this one. So um, before I attach them, this corner right here, the um, folder itself has that one fourth, I mean a half an inch corner rounder, but because this corner doesn't quite go all the way, let me see if I can... Um, I'm going just to do a fourth inch um, just to get that rounded a little bit for when this is closed so it's not a point. Um, so I'm going to do that for the bottom and the top. Okay, I have finished putting the inside on. So there's two photo mats and then I decided to round both corners of the bottom here um, with the fourth inch corner rounder. All right, now we can move on and work on the right side. So the right side is pretty easy. We got um, pockets. We do have these little um, indentations, which I'm actually going to ignore, um, as well as this indentation here. Uh, but what I have is just pretty much one piece of paper that I cut. Um, to fit all of it because it's going to get broken up when we put in uh, the tags. So I thought one sheet would just work fine. Now with the tabs over here, however, I wanted some color. So I have this longer tab and then I have the shorter tabs for the colors. Now for the tabs, I'm going to have them butt up against the paper. Um, so they're flush and then I just need to round the corners on all the tabs, but that's what I'm going to go with for this look. Um, you can of course do different sheets of uh, paper, but I thought just one would be uh, sufficient. So the only things that um, are to note is not to have, if you are going to cover um, this notch, not to have tape behind your page right here so you're not taping it to the, the uh, second flap here. Uh, the same way with this spot right here. Or if you want, you can just um, maybe put your sheet in and give it a little trace and then cut it out. All right, so I've attached all of my papers. Um, some of them look a little off. Um, because this middle piece right here isn't completely straight. Uh, not the paper, the actual uh, flap here. Uh, but I did the best I can, looks good. Butted up my little tabs here, that looks good. So you got that colors right, right along that edge. Anyways, that's done. Um, and now we need to work on the back. For the back side is pretty simple. Um, I just have, um, just cutouts for the whole sections here and then uh, I cut out a piece for my tab. This one I'm not having butt up against, I'm just going to have that little space. And so the only note for this one is this bottom corner right here because of the how the folder is shaped. So either you can um, 
do maybe like a stub punch or trace it and trim it off. So I'm going to trace it and trim it off. Um, but that's for the back. Pretty plain and simple. And this is how it looks uh, attached for the back side. So now we have some uh, tags that we need to put in here and then work on the matting the tags that go on the inside of here. I have a tip. Uh, I'm using these um, corner pieces. So I have a corner die from Graphic 45's Policy and Decorative Die Set. And what we're going to do is just make them into a little medallion type piece which just gives a project a little extra something, I think. Um, I really like how these turned out. And they're real simple. So what we're gonna do is just take a piece of tape. Doesn't have to be that big. And we're gonna use four pieces here. So I'm gonna flip over two of these pieces. Line it up. Attach some tape to it flip it over and then we're going to just attach these right here and there we go and that's how we make them so now we have um, just a cute little added piece to any project and just by using a little corner die now these also look cute going the opposite direction um, so I'm gonna get four let okay four pieces and just make it into a square and you can add this to a project just to add a little extra something but I think that is a really cute uh, piece as well so um, you know you can do different things um, you can make little just experiment with them just to give a little extra something to a project. Um, so there's plenty of ideas out there. Yeah, put something in the middle of that. Anyways, there you go. Just some extra little um, bits and pieces for any project. We're going to work on our tags for the front of our page. So you can have um, a full um, a full tag if you want, just a full mat tag, but instead I'm going to add a little extra. So I trimmed this tag so it has this shape to it and I really like how it looks when it's together. So it has this diamond shape for your pull tab. Um, I just, I, I like how it flows. So that's how I'm doing these, but you can go ahead and do a full uh, piece or um, trim them in this triangle piece so it's real easy what I did was take the center of it center of your piece and drew my line from the center to the corner and then I trim it with uh, craft knife Right, and then we want to repeat for um, your second piece and then we'll attach it to the tag. All right, so we're going to attach the um, pieces. So this, this guy we're just going to line up, you know, about one eighth inch from the side. And to make sure that we are in line, we're going to line up uh, right at the tip of that nose. So we want to line up with the nose first because we want to make sure it's right on the money. And that's how you do that tag. 
Okay, so for our next tags, we have a, our large tag. And what we're going to do with that one, um, oh, so I'm pulling this out of the other one. Um, I just attached a couple of accent strips and did a, a large photo mat and just rounded the corners. So that's what we're going to do. I have my uh, photo mat here and we're going to do one fourth inch corner rounder. And then for our pieces, um, we're just going to round two of the corners, the top and the bottom. Now I'm going to ink all the edges and then add some tape. We are going to attach the accent pieces first. So I'm going to turn that this way so I can see it better. We're just going to use the roller. Find my center spot and um, that's uh, not the right spot. I only wanted about an eighth of an inch border here. Um, I'll flip this over. Removing tape. And then I'm going to add some extra ATG to my large tag here, large mat, a mat, and then we're going to center this guy up. Perfect. And that's going to go right like that. So next we're going to work on the tags that go in these pockets. So I'm going to start with this shorter pocket first, and um, that is this guy right here. Now I've already made one for our other uh, page. So we have this, the medallion element on the front cover here, and then we open it up for full section for photos, and then a little tag right here. Oops. So for this guy, I've already cut all the pieces. I didn't gotta put my medallions together. So we have two uh, pieces for the front cover that I'm going to attach. This craft just gives it a little bit of a border for the front instead of just this um, uh, look right here. So that craft, I think I like with a little bit of a border. And then on the inside, we got our tags with our tag mats and then cut out our pieces for our pocket and then a large piece for the background. So I've um, inked my edges with the vintage uh, oxide photo, vintage photo oxide, distress oxide ink and um, going to attach everything and I've already showed how to make the medallions. So I'm gonna make those as well. All right, here's the finished product. Really cute tag. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it here. And then we're going to move on to our second tag. And that is this guy. So I have um, my front cover. But I wanted to add a little extra detail. So I cut out some squares and then um, cut them in half to make half a uh, diamond shape just like that. And then I have just a couple of full size tags and then one tag with a photo mat. So the only thing that I'm doing with these tags um, is I'm just going to round the corners. I'm probably going to do a half inch corner rounder on these and then um, the top and bottom of these um, strips right here. And then uh, this photo mat I'm just going to leave. A square. So with this guy, um, instead of a full size mat, I have um, a cutout piece 
And then I'll have uh, just a couple of strips at the top and bottom and do something like that. And I'm, I'm gonna round those corners as well. And then I have a full size mat for behind the pocket right here. And then for this guy, these pieces are, um, this is N pieces, is what I meant to say. It's just an awkward shape. And I didn't wanna use a full size mat because that's a lot of paper. Um, and this is a heavy paper project. So I'm cut it, uh, cut it. I cut um, two pieces on each section here and I'm gonna round all those corners and then this piece right here and I'm going to round that corner as well. So let me show you the one I've already completed and I added the um, photo corners right there just for an extra something. I think it's really cute. So you can see how I rounded these corners along with the tag. Uh, and then this is how I rounded the background pieces along with rounding the corners of the tag. So it's just some extra detail and again, didn't want to use a full piece of paper um, to, to cut um, for that background because um, again, this is paper heavy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, work on this, get my corners punched and I'll inked all my edges and stuff. All right, here's the completed tag. And then we have our tags here. Okay, so we can move on um, to our top tags. So those two are, are pretty simple. They're just um, bits and pieces. Oh, let me grab that. So we have a large tag right here. Oh, let me get in focus. Um, with two photo mats. And I just have a strip of um, paper. You can have that any size. Um, I just, that was just a spare piece. And then I'm going to add the little medallion in the center. And I think I'm gonna do uh, three medallions. I think would be cute as long as they fit. And then um, that's, uh, I might just do one. I have um, three on this guy, but he has a bigger um, mat in the back. So I think I'm just gonna do one little one because of the size of this little skinny mat. And then this guy has two um, smaller photo mats and then a strip in the middle which I will stub punch um, ink the edges and then attach all right here are the completed tags Let me get my book so we're going to go ahead and put the tags in the back here and then the um, middle tag and so what's left we have is the back area where two tags fit. So we have um, these guys right here. So for this, um, you'll it'll look a little familiar. So I have two pieces that I cut out for both sides. And then in the middle I get um, a little diamond uh, piece. And then for the inside, um, I'm just going to do the two sides, and instead of a diamond, I'm just going to have a full mat, which I think I'm going to stub punch. Uh, so that's what it's going to look like, and I'm going to make both of them the um, exact same. Alright, so this is the tag and how it fits into this belly band right here, and then this one's going to go up here and um, that is the inside. So that is the completed tag. So I did stub punch the corners and that completes all the tags for um, the folders. So now we need to attach these to the uh, album. Hmm. Okay, so for attaching this guy, um, we have this spine area and right, what I did was I drew a line. It's kind of faint. Um, 
and this is um, a half an inch from the edge here. So I drew a half an inch line and then a half an inch line. And that's where we're going to attach the front of the first um, page and then the back of the second page. And then it should give us a half an inch in the middle for space. So I'm gonna turn this sideways. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna turn this sideways so I can see the line. I'm going to hold it so it's um, a little more on the flat side. And then I'm just going to lay it down on the line, um, just like so, centered from the top and bottom, which is just um, about an eighth of an inch. So it's not that hard. I'm gonna remove my tape here. Okay. So again, I'm gonna line, follow my line center my guy up make sure I'm on camera and then lay my page down and let's see that is even so I'm just closing it to see and then I need my um, open this guy up let me make sure the back is even it looks really good so then I'm just gonna now I did not cover this um, right here but if I had a strip of paper I might just cover it probably with this purple so if I have an extra purple I'm gonna go ahead and put that there or the green either one um, but that looks really good again I'm gonna go ahead and rub it one more time definitely want to make sure um, I get that stuck down. And then just repeat um, using the back line and the back of the page and to attach second page. And I have attached the second page. So you can see how good that looks. All right. Oh. Look at those colorful tabs. It looks awesome. Oh, there we go. All right, now I need to get some decorating done. All right, I have completed the album and I'm just gonna go through some of the things that I have done. Uh, so with the, the, the cover, I've made the um, corner piece medallions and then put a little um, diamond in the middle of that and then I have um, the out edge right here is uh, just a fussy cut one of the sheets out of the collection and then I added uh, life is sweet with um, some letter die cuts and then I didn't do anything to the binding um, section just that strip of paper so I made it um, pretty Pretty basic um, didn't need anything extra so I like uh, all the details and then the butterfly is fussy cut as well so let's go on the inside um, so for the inside cover for the front and back cover all I do is have these uh, photo mats and then just uh, added some pieces from um, the die cut collection this assortment pack so between the assortment pack and the stickers is the extra elements that I added in the album besides the medallions, which I've added in certain places as well. Um, so with um, this section here, I didn't add anything extra. Um, I think it looks good the way it is, but of course there are plenty of stickers and, and die cut pieces to add to it. So, of course, this tab just pulls this out. And then the tags um, here. And then this opens up. So, have you already seen these pieces because I uh, made them in the tutorial. And then, the, and then we have the um, tags here with the big photo mat and the accent um, paper. Then we open up and um, here are the additions that I added. So I added the medallion uh, to the closure piece 
And then I just added um, a couple of elements on the inside. So I have this piece, which I made sure was in the center when this closes up. Um, so this is from the collection. And then I added um, a little piece here and then a little piece down here. So nothing too major. And then on this side, I um, fussy cut this pear out and then put this pear border along with a gold border. And um, just something simple on the inside. So nothing major for uh, that tag. And this tag has um, a couple of sticker pieces there and there. But again, I didn't add a whole lot. Um, nothing to the bigger mats. And then I just added a little piece at the top. Um, and then a center piece for the middle. I didn't add anything to these. So then this is the um, second page, which you guys haven't seen. So I added my little color tabs. So this folder has the um, tab on the bottom. Um, so I added purple accent for that one. Pull this out. So I added um, that apple paper right there. It's really pretty. And have a little sticker in the center. Move this down. See, I added a sticker there. And then for our pocket piece, added a couple of medallions on the side. So here's our tag. And then our second tag. And then a tag on this side. And then our two large tags. So with this one I added three medallions and the first one I only added one. Um, and then last but not least is the back side. So the back cover again, two mats and then some pieces from the collection. And then one piece in the center for um, uh, this tag. And those are all the pieces um, of the project. So again, I just added, um, made squares into diamonds, which I wanted to, to, to use that accent because of the medallion. Um, so I hope, uh, I hope you liked everything and um, tutorial and kits on my blog at www.webofcreativity.net and all those links are listed below. Thank you for watching.